I thought he was a nice guy. I thought he was a nice guy with a great story. What changed? The moment that he told me how hot middle school girls were. We have new revelations tonight from the woman who claims she helped the FBI make its case against former subway spokesman Jared Fogle. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Stair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. Well, she has quite a story to tell tonight. The woman from Florida says she recorded talks with Fogle, and what he reportedly said was disturbing. Here is reporter John Rogers on how those recorded conversations helped prosecutors force Fogle to plead guilty to crimes against children. It was the children that were following him, and he's a predator. Rochelle Herman Walrand is a former journalist who met Jared Fogle around 10 years ago. He often visited the area for work, and the two became friends. I thought he was a nice guy. I thought he was a nice guy with a great story. What changed? The moment that he told me how hot middle school girls were. Over time, Fogel would spontaneously describe his sexual encounters with children. Gender didn't make a difference to him. Um, the younger, the better. Um, and then when indicated, you know, what age are you mostly interested in, um, seemed to be about a, around the age 11. Walrand was horrified and approached the FBI. For four years, she secretly recorded conversations with him, playing along to see what he would say. He had a lot of these um, sexual fantasies um, with children. Well, he wanted me to arrange a party for him, um, a kid's party. And what do you want to do with this party? He wanted to get the children and have sexual intercourse with them. Hearing Vogel's disgusting desires took its toll. After the conversations, I would break down. I would cry. I had two small children at the time, and I did it in their name um, because I would want somebody to do that for me. She's happy that Vogel pleaded guilty. He faces up to 12 and a half years in prison, but Walrand wishes he could be put away for life. She also would like to hear from him one more time. Would you ever want Jared to apologize to you? I do. You know, that you're the only one that's ever asked me that question. I absolutely would. I would like an apology because it's mentally draining. Waldron said she worried the prosecutors would only have enough evidence to charge Fogel with child pornography, but she's pleased they can make the case on the sex charges, too. Now, you can read more about this case and what Jared Fogel admits he did at our website, WTHR.com.